I'm of the belief that the majority of women will decide whether they want to date you immediately, uh, literally within the first maybe 10 seconds or minute of meeting you. Uh, I'm of the belief that the majority of them are going to judge you uh, in that first minute on superficial things, uh, which is a little bit, uh, goes against what we're taught about women in the mainstream media and in Hollywood, etc., is that they want to get to know you. They want to learn a little bit about you and build an emotional connection with you, um, which is true in some uh, respect, but the thing is they make the decision on whether they want to even get to know you or allow you to build an emotional connection literally in the first 30 seconds to one minute. And... Um, I believe that they'll give you a chance and then it will start out, you've got that chance and then it's up to you to mess it up. Um, you can drop the ball at any, at any point. So that it starts, they're giving you a chance and then you could mess it up by saying something stupid, doing something stupid. Uh, you need to buy yourself time to, until you get to the point where you've, they've decided they want to date you and then you build the emotional connection. Now, that aspect of it a lot of men kind of miss. They miss how technically superficial women can be in the first one minute of meeting you and judging and deciding whether they're going to give you a chance. Um, a lot of men, they watch the Romeo and Juliet story where the guy's like, got a violin and he's, uh, or whatever, he's playing out the front of her, uh, off the veranda. He's like, he's like, down the bottom there and he's uh, serenading her uh, and um, you know professing his love for her and eventually she changes her mind it also reminds me of uh, Grant Cardone's story one of uh, the United States most wealthiest men uh, she decided she wasn't really interested in him and uh, he pursued her over and over and over again. He tried to make connections through her friends, he tried to make connections um, in many other ways until he eventually convinced her to date him. Now, I'm of the belief, and most people are, that uh, she wasn't interested in him when they first met. Um, she wasn't interested in him for a long time because he just was, she wasn't interested in the person and he kind of led with money. That's the belief that a lot of people have and that uh, he led with money and eventually she's like, eh, I can tolerate this guy because he's got a lot of money. He's one of the United States, one of the world's richest men. And if you are in a situation where you've met a girl, the majority of the times, university, uh, work, uh, through like a, a social group of friends, um, let's just say you met, you met her, uh, you know, you go to the same cafe or restaurant all the time, she works there as a waitress or as a barista, and eventually you, um, um, you, she makes the decision literally in the first minute or the first time that you kind of show some sort of intent or she makes the makes the decision before you've even shown any intent whether you're even worth dating or even given it being worth given a chance of dating now there's a lot of men out there that are going to listen to this and their ego is going to kick in kick in and they're going to they're going to leave a comment which happens all the time oh but i married my wife and when we first met she didn't like me and i just kept pursuing her and then she fell in love with me later on well what happens and the reason why this video is so important is that uh if if she has, is, isn't giving you the chance in the very beginning and you're on the back foot from the very beginning and you have to pursue her the same way someone like Grant Cardone had to um, and you had to pursue and pursue and pursue uh, quite often there was another guy or a whole group of other guys that she was interested in dating other than you that she would deem to be top tier men and you're like a B grade or a C grade man and because those options weren't available to her she settled for you uh, and a lot of these men they they pursued and they pursued and they they got that girl but how it sets the relationship up from then on is that the 
they are on the back foot from the very beginning they had to pursue her and for the in entire length of the relationship as long as they stay together even if they divorce whatever she will always be the one that has the power in the relationship because she's the one that eventually was like okay i'll accept you and date you uh, and so i'm of the belief that uh, when you are not given that chance you're not given that opportunity in the beginning pursuing might not be worth it because you'll be giving away all leverage she will have power in the relationship the entirety of the relationship you start dating um, it'll be hard for you to get any sort of level level it out even the power dynamic she will have all the power she'll have the she was the one that eventually was like oh okay i'll 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 take him uh, i'll you know all right i'll date you and uh, during the marriage she'll be the one that will be uh technically in control she will like to think that she's the one that will be calling the shots and have the leverage through the entire relationship and my question to you guys is is that the relationship that you want to um have um a lot of men they'll get on a date and you know like like my my date i'm there and there's a big big uh distance between us we're not sitting next to each other um she's not really smiling or being really friendly she doesn't know anything about me uh, she's not really giving me a chance um, pursuing and like throwing money at the problem or trying to prove how awesome you are when she eventually just turns around and goes oh, okay I'll date you she's always going to have the leverage of I'm gonna leave now if you don't play it the way I want to play it and she's gonna have all the power and that means that uh, that means that depending on what type of a person she is if she's a bad person if she's someone that takes advantage of other people that she has leverage over, which is the majority of human beings on planet Earth, otherwise we wouldn't have so many wars or so many rent-seeking parasites in the, the economy, politicians, etc. Uh, it's evidence of human behaviour. Uh, she will exploit um, her leverage in the relationship and there will always be, it will always be hanging over you uh, the possibility that she could leave at any moment if you do not act right you do not play the game the way she wants it to be played you do not give her what she wants she will leave and so pursuing that girl ultimately will put you in a master and slave sort of situation a, a simp sort of situation where you've got no leverage in your own relationship um, and as a man you're that means that later on maybe maybe the relationship isn't going so well you find yourself working six seven days a week trying to uh, support the family while she's sleeping with the neighbor next thing you know you're, you're married she's um and you've had a bunch of kids that the kids don't look like you you've got some sort of a paternity fraud thing going on you brought up the the guy down the street who was having sex with your wife while you're working six seven days a week for 20 years and eventually you get divorced and you lose absolutely everything because all the way at the very beginning she wasn't really interested in you on the first date and you pursued her and you thought that it was an actual achievement to change her mind and you found out the hard way 20 years later that you never had leverage from day one so don't make that mistake